Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another video for you guys. This is a pick a card reading and the message directly here that we're doing or getting information about is what you need to stop doing going into 2021. If um, there is a certain trait, a certain pattern, a certain behavior, whatever it is that you need to let go of and stop doing, so that it doesn't directly impact you coming into 2021 will be revealed here. As you can see, this is set number one, the ring, set number two, the bracelet, set number three, the cotton ball, set number four, the marker. Now, yes, this was very spontaneously picked. Not sure what spirit was trying to tell me here. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to tune into your energy, see which one you're being called towards, and we will get right into it. <clears throat> All right, my lovelies, I'm going to pull these to the back so that we can get into the reading and see exactly what spirit is trying to tell us. So this is going to be for those of you guys that chose set number one with the ring, okay? So let's get into it. Your first card here is the full card. Second card is the Ten of Swords, the King of Cups, the Moon card, the Nine of uh, sorry, the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Okay, a lot of water energy here, you guys. So I feel this is very deeply connected in regards to relationships, in regards to partnerships, or in regards to your emotions. With the full card, this could represent that you have a tendency of being a little bit impulsive when we're talking about new beginnings. Um... This is the type of energy that I'm feeling for those of you guys that chose set number one. Now, it doesn't have to be co directly connected to relationships. This could be just in general. Uh, whenever you're about to set a new endeavor, a new beginning, you are so excited in the very beginning that you could be very impulsive. You can throw yourself into situations without really thinking or analyzing only because it feels good to you at that point in time. With the Ten of Swords, anxiety gets the best of you so this could be as an example the easiest way for me to explain this to you is almost the feeling like when you're trying to manifest something you're very excited and you're going into it and like yes i want to do this i want to do that and as the days progress the more you think about it the more you start thinking why it would be literally impossible to manifest that for you so it's kind of like you overthink 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 and you overthink to the point of creating a blockage for yourself. So I feel that very highly for you guys. It's almost like you get in your own way of manifestations, of being able to experience, for some of you guys, emotional connections in relationships. Um, it's almost like the moment you start to see some type of change, instead of saying, you know what, we can change around this situation, or I'm going to let things unfold in a naturally organic way in order to be able to really see the full manifestation it's like the moment there is a hiccup you panic and then it's like you completely block yourself you are in this in this state of mind of like you know instead of seeing the cup half full um you see it half empty do you see what i'm saying i hope i said that right with the King of Cups, this could be water energy. This could be your sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. For others of you, this could be persons or people that you're dealing with where you kind of feel, um, with the Eight of Cups, though, I feel that very highly for a lot of you guys, there is, like, you subconsciously put yourself in situations where there's not a lot of clarity. So this could be that you have a tendency of falling for individuals, women or men, um, that are not very open about what they want. And you're like, ooh, they're very like secretive, so exciting. But in reality, they're not 
you know, they're they're not, no. What I meant to say was that you're excited because it's like, ooh, there's like mystery behind it, and there's like privacy there. But it's not privacy. It's just that they're secretive, um, and then you end up putting yourself in a situation where you get emotionally invested, and then they start to pull away, and you're like, what the hell was that? And you can't really know much about this individual because perhaps they're secretive. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here now, it doesn't necessarily have to be relationships, like I said. This could be in general. This could be if you're trying to get a raise at a job, if you're trying to start a new business, if you're trying to manifest abundance, success, anything like that. It's like anything that is new to you, it's exciting and you're thrilled about it. But there is lack of focus is what they're telling me here. So you, you have to go out of your way to keep yourself motivated. You have to go out of your way to make sure to check in on yourself every single day how you're feeling so it doesn't become a blockage to yourself because of anxiousness or because of worry or because you're overthinking or because things get busy and you haven't really put effort in visualization and then you wonder why it didn't happen well more than likely you got distracted or you kind of put so much momentum of this overthinking that it just creates blockages. So you need to let go of that, okay? Now, the direct messages here from Spirit is financial constraints and door to value. Yeah, so here's here's the thing. These two cards are the very opposite of each other. Financial constraints is difficulties with finances, having a lot of burdens, having a lot of responsibilities, and door to value is overflowing of abundance. It's bountiful type of energy. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're at a pivotal moment where you're about to manifest. Get out of your own head. Get out of your own way. And this is what you need to stop doing for 2021. Stop overthinking about things you want to manifest that will not happen because you focus on, but this is in its way. But this other thing came up. Well, it's not happening quick, so it must mean it's not coming towards me. What they're telling you is you're right, right. Like literally there is a veil, transparent veil that is separating you from that, this dimension to the dimension of the manifestation. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Also, what they're telling you is when we're talking about relationships, it is very important not to jump into relationships just because it's exciting in the very beginning. Get to know the people. Financial constraints could represent in every single aspect of our lives. It could be the feeling of lacking, right? Lacking of love or lacking of finances with the door to value. You have to learn to value yourself so you don't keep putting yourself in these situations, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed that. Now let's go to set number two. All right, my lovelies, those of you that chose set number two, let's see what Spirit's trying to communicate here, what you need to release yourself from this 2021 or going into 2021. Now, the first card here is the Magician card. Second card is the Six of Wands. Wow. Beautiful cards, you guys. Three of Cups here. The World card. The Four of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay, beautiful beautiful energy. So those of you guys that chose set number two, what they're telling you here is that you need to let go of the feeling that you're not capable of doing things. There, This, this could be a fear. Uh, this could be an energy, almost a feeling like when things are going good, you question everything. Uh, is it too good to be true? When is it going to fall apart? I'm waiting for it to fall apart just so I know I'm not fucking crazy, okay? With the Magician and the Six of Wands, Three of Cups, there's victory coming towards you. There's an achievement. There's a materialization. This is the universe giving back to you. With the World's card, 
for some of you guys, major expansion coming into 2021, but you need to stop wondering if you deserve happiness is what they're saying. And I hear it very loud and clearly. Like I said, it's almost a feeling like every single time things go good in your life, you question it. The hell is wrong with you? Now, I understand humans have this habit, right? Where if one area in our life is booming, the other one must suck. Because if everything is booming, we're like looking around waiting for, you know, that tower moment. <laughs> we're waiting for something to fall apart because we are so used to vibrating to a low frequency. And when you're happy, when you're excited, when you're thrilled, you're vibrating to the highest of your potential. You are a co-creator, right? You're creating your reality. And sometimes when we're so used to vibrating to a low frequency, when we start to vibrate to a higher one, it doesn't feel normal. It almost feels like we have to question everything. And what Spirit is telling you here is, again, get out of your own way. Learn to count your blessings. I have a job for all of you guys that chose set number two going into 2021. Whenever a blessing comes through, a manifestation, an opportunity, abundance, success, victory in any, any aspect of your life, I want you to sit there for a good 15 minutes counting your blessings. Because the more momentum you put towards gratitude, the more the universe hears you and continues to shower you with these blessings. Why? Because you are being grateful. You are opening your heart and pouring that love that the universe is pouring onto you, pouring it onto the universe. So it will echo back. So instead of worrying and thinking or whenever you catch yourself being a little bit negative, and this is for you negative self-talkers as well. If you have a tendency of, you know, catching yourself being so <laughs> self-negative or talking to yourself in a negative way, like, oh, you're so stupid, or I'm so dumb, I shouldn't have done this, or whatever. Whenever you catch yourself doing that, redirect the energy. I am thankful and I am blessed because of this. I am thankful and I am blessed because of this. Um, I'm grateful and I'm thankful because, you know, I just stepped on shit. And there is a saying that when you dream about shit or when you step in shit, money's coming to me. Do this and you will start to experience the love that the universe has for you. There is a lot of abundance coming towards you. Four of Cups may be feeling like uh, getting to a point where your manifestations don't fully manifest the way you would expect them or they don't come to you the way you, at the timing that you wanted. And what they're telling you is be grateful be grateful and thankful. Learn to be grateful is what they're telling you. So in general, what they're telling you here is when things are going good, stop focusing on what's going to go bad and start focusing on what is this good going to propel me going into the future? How is this taking me to my next step? Focus on that instead of focusing I'm waiting for something to happen. When you start to vibrate from this energy, spirit will help you and open new pathways that you perhaps never knew were there. The possibilities are endless. Now let's see what spirit's direct message is for you. You have the thinking, <laughs> the thinking man and the sun card, you guys. This is Jupiter's energy. This is exactly what we were talking about. Thinking man. This is your energy like overthinking or over questioning or doubting yourself or even doubting if you deserve to be happy or doubting that you deserve to be this happy. Something must be wrong. Like, no, no, baby. Be thankful. Be blessed because Jupiter is bringing to you a lot of blessings. And these are blessings that you've earned. These are blessings that you deserve. Embrace that shit. All right, my lovelies. I hope this helped you. Now let's go on to set number three.
All right, my lovelies, let's get into set number three. And this is the cotton ball. It is so adorable. I don't know why I was being called towards it. So fluffy. <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading now. Your first card here is the hermit card, the ace of pentacles, the wheel. Wow, five of wands. Okay. Knight of swords, ten of pentacles. All right. Okay, so let's see. What's unfolding for those of you guys that chose set number three, there is a lot of momentum in regards to your finances and in regards to stability in general. With the Hermit, I see you guys really uh, experiencing almost like not really wanting to be around a lot of people or for some of you guys, this is just you internalizing everything you've been through. Um... I feel that the shift in energy is really impacting a lot of you guys as well. You may be feeling this. Uh, I'm hearing like um, almost like uh, anxiety or stress, worried about the future, worried about where you're at at this point in your life. Um, keep in mind Saturn is all about, you know, the it's a representation of father time. So for some of you guys, you may be feeling like there is a ticking time bomb, right? In your mind, I should have already been at this point in my life. I should have already been, you know, stable or married or have kids by now. Why isn't it happening? This type of energy is what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys. Why am I not moving forward in my career? That type of energy. And what they're telling you is, you need to ground yourself, okay? Going into 2021, it's going to be very important to check in with yourself. So when I say that, I mean, don't ignore your emotions and what you're feeling because you go about life keeping yourself busy, moving forward, but you're not really addressing your emotional side. You're not acknowledging when you're sad. You're not acknowledging when you're happy. You're not really, it's almost like you're just going with the flow of time or the flow of life. And what they're telling you is that you need to learn to be more present. Now, for a lot of you guys, this could be stress. This could be anxiety. This could be some of you guys maybe even experiencing depression the past couple of months. Um, but again, I feel that this has a lot to do with the uh, astrological alignments that you're sensing. For a lot of you guys, it could be that you're empaths. It could be that you're very susceptible to energy and you're feeling that energy and it's directly impacting you, which is why they were telling me it's very important for you to meditate. It's important for you to make your uh, mental health a priority. Uh, this is, again, like I said, checking in with yourself, grounding yourself, meditating, making sure that you give yourself at least 15 to 20 minutes a day to make sure that you're good because health and mental health is a very important thing. For a lot of you guys, it could be that you're empaths and you're not even aware of it. It could be that you surround yourself with individuals or people that are extremely negative and it rubs off of you. And then you feel this heaviness of energy or you feel like um, you're not yourself or you feel sad out of nowhere when you were feeling great. Uh, that type of energy. So again, I see a lot of enlightenment for a lot of you guys. And again, here with the Hermit and the Ace of Pentacles, in this deck, if you can see the woman's um, the woman's uh, crown, it's almost like you're becoming self-aware about something. For some of you guys, self-aware about your gifts. For others of you, tuning in or honing into your power, your energy, uh, being able to understand fully uh, the power and the potential that you have within yourself. With the five of wands, I feel that a lot of people around you may be in conflict or you may deal with uh, people that are, you know, have toxic traits. Uh, for some of you guys, family members that, you know, have a tendency of like always arguing or fighting that type of energy. What they're telling you is if this is directly affecting your mind, directly affecting you on a spiritual level, you need to make plans to move forward in the in the positive way and remove yourself from that type of energy. Because again, you need to really protect your energy is what they're saying. Now, you also have the Ten of Pentacles here with the Ten, uh, sorry, with the Wheel card. So I see a lot of manifestations for stability, a lot of financial growth here. For some of you guys, again, I feel that there's a decision that's going to be made for some. 
uh, going into 2021. For a lot of you guys, this could be expansion that pulls you away from a situation. For some of you guys, it could be uh, getting a job that is not locally. For others of you, this could represent like having the need to uh, change or relocate type of energy. If this is what comes up for you guys, definitely take those opportunities because I feel like you've outgrown where you're at at this present time. Now, let's see what direct messages you have here. Now, you have, oh my God, you guys, anxiety. That's exactly what I was feeling for you guys. I feel, here's the thing. For those of you guys that feel like lately you're very much in your mind and there's like a lot of anxiousness, there is a lot of restlessness or even having trouble sleeping. I feel that you guys are very sensitive to energies and I think that you have been feeling uh, this astrological uh, changes that we've been experiencing on a subconscious level. So that could be the reason why you're feeling very much in your head or you're feeling like very anxious. Um, run yourself a cleansing bath meditate check with yourself drink a lot of tea this is going to help you be at ease this is going to help you be grounded this is going to help you refocused even because i'm hearing for a lot of you guys it, it could almost feel like sometimes your mind is cloudy it's foggy and it has a lot to do with the fact that you're very like it's very easy for you to pick up on energies and maybe some of you guys are not even aware of it and sometimes it could almost feel like you're going crazy but in reality it's not it's just that you come around these people that drain your energy or you pick up on their energies and then you start to feel what they were feeling although you brought them healing without you being aware of it you carried on their energy so again a lot of grounding a lot of taking care of yourself and envy Toxic energy being around you. Toxic energy, you know, that's what we've seen here. Conflict. Dealing with a lot of people that come around you or that you deal with on an everyday basis that could be potentially very toxic. These are individuals that are often always talking smack about other people. This is individuals that always have rumors or something to tell you. Hey, guess what I heard? That type of energy. Remove yourself from that. That's what you need to cut off for 2021. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you some type of uh, some type of clarity. Now let's go on to set number four. All right, my lovelies, here we are, set number four, the pink marker. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has here. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Judgment card. The Five of Swords. The Five of Cups. Wow. The Ten of Wands. Okay. I feel that those of you guys that chose set number four are very stuck on a situation uh, this could be in regards to partnership or relationships where you feel like things are very unstable. I feel that there is a lot of breaking up and going back with each other, breaking up or going back with each other. For others of you, this could just be you dealing with people from the past that continuously keep coming back around. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you kind of <clears throat> keep communication going, hoping that it will manifest into something long term. Or that finally it will stabilize your relationship or your connection. The Knight of Pentacles. It's been a very long process for you guys. The Judgment card. You have to make a decision. And this decision is being made um, very rationally. I feel that for a lot of you guys, this could be you that walked away from a situation where you felt like you were putting a lot of effort, a lot of energy. The Five of Swords is petty arguments. It's an individual that is very immature. Uh, it is an individual that comes in and goes. They're not stable. So with the Five of Cups here, there is a mourning or a loss of a relationship. Ten of Wands, you felt like you just couldn't take it anymore. For some of you guys, this is a feeling of, you know, when do I get to the point of saying enough is enough? Is it when I'm completely drained? Is it when I'm completely heartbroken and I feel like I'm not no longer myself? You've lost yourself in this connection or in this relationship. Now, for others of you, this could be situations where you put yourself in 
um, dealing with people, family members, people around you that drain your energy. It's like they take, 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 and they're not willing to give. When it's about you, no one's around. But when it's about them, they make it a priority to go out of them, their way to let you know what their problems is. And there you are being a good friend. There you are being loyal, trying to help them up, trying to dust them off. What Spirit is telling you for this 2021, there is a need to learn to value yourself, to respect yourself. You deserve to have a friend like you. And if you don't, it is time for you to start cutting those people off. People that drain your energy, people that take you for granted, people that only think of you when they need something, whether it be advice, whether it be help, whether it be finances, whether it be just having someone that can loan them an ear, that type of energy. It's like they can't do the most minimalistic thing for you, but they expect you to receive their call at five in the morning, at three in the morning. Do you see what I'm saying? What they're telling you here is that it's time for you to stop expecting from other people and start to focus your energy back to you. Focus on yourself. Make yourself a priority. If you give love or if you give friendship or if you give advice, do it only to those that you know without a doubt will do the same in return. For a lot of you guys, there is a need to pay a lot of attention to how people treat you with actions, not with their words. There is a cycle that you continuously keep going through. And I feel that at this point, you either should have learned from it, you should have grown from it, but it is propelling you to the next cycle in your life where there is going to be massive self-love. There's going to be massive knowing of your self-worth. And for some of you guys, it could be a relationship coming in that is a giving relationship, something perhaps you've never experienced. Now, when this comes along, what they're saying is don't question it. Look and see what they do through actions to show you what you mean to them. No longer dealing with past energies, you guys. Those of you guys that chose set number four, let it burn when we're talking about the past. There is opportunity. And again, like I said, I feel that for a lot of you guys, there this is like, it is an energy that is propelling you to go into the next cycle in your life. Being more assertive of your character, of yourself, of your person, of your worth. I see you guys as the givers when we're talking about relationships. When does it come to the point of, this is what I'm hearing. When do I get to the point of feeling loved? When will someone miss me? When will someone fight for me? That is the energy that I'm hearing. And what they're telling you is, when you make yourself a priority, when you learn to put yourself first, when you learn your self-worth, and anyone that treats you any less than that, you show them the door. Anyone that treats you less than what you should, how you should be treated or how you want to be treated, you give them the boot. You teach others how you want to be treated. Now let's see what Spirit's direct message is for those of you guys that chose set number four. You guys, really? Angel of love. There is love around you, my lovelies. There is love coming towards you. There is a new opportunity coming and unfolding. You will be loved. You will be cherished. You will be missed. You will be fought for. But you need to believe this in yourself. You need to start taking care of your heart. You need to start taking care of yourself. You need to start seeing how beautiful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh 
woman holding a coin. Now, this could be both male or female. It is a general reading. But this is an offer, you guys. This is a love offer that's coming through. This is a love offer that's coming through that is going to be or has the, you know, potential for something long term. It has the potential for something stable. It is the type of relationship that starts built off of a solid foundation. For a lot of you guys, it could be that you've been manifesting love. As you guys can see here, the cat, a familiar for witches. So this could represent magic around you. This could be for those of you guys that have love amulets, those of you guys that carry love crystals because she's holding the coin. You are going to be pulling in new love, something stable, something fulfilling, something that is going to be long lasting. That's what's unfolding for you coming 2021. Now let's work on this energy, loving ourselves, knowing our worth, ending cycles that no longer serve us. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. I hope it gives you clarity, insight, understanding. I hope that it will push you forward coming this 2021, getting ready to kick off the new year. I want to send you guys all my love. I wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays, and we'll see each other soon. Blessings. Bye.